This is Gabriel from BestGuitarEffects.com. I'm going to show you how to use the Strymon timeline with Ableton Live. I'm going to use MIDI to sequence the pedal for foot-free control. Uh, this is really useful if you um, don't want to be confined to your pedal board during live shows and if you don't want to have a guitar tech um, in charge of controlling your uh, you know, foot switch presses and everything like that. You can um, sequence everything from Ableton and um, it's pretty awesome. I've been having a lot of fun doing that for live shows and um, just want to show you a few of the possibilities here. So um, have a couple of drum loops and this would be kind of how you would probably sequence uh, your pedals to backing tracks or to a click track that you feed to your drummer and um, you would make MIDI tracks um, for your pedals and your effect switchers and I uh, have one set up here for the timeline and so I already named it. Um, then I have several little clips which are each gonna do some different things here. So this first clip um, this is basically just going to have a, a little off-on, off-on control of the pedal. So it's going to activate and bypass, and uh, you'll see why that's relevant in a moment. Um, let's see, then we're going to start looping. We're going to control the timeline's looper to start recording a loop. And then in this next clip here, we're going to play back that loop with CC86. And then um, over here, this uh, is going to change presets. Notice it says program 2 and this one over here, uh, program 1. So when this clip starts, it's going to change presets and it's also going to stop the looper with this CC message right here, 85. And uh, let's see what else. Um, this next clip here is going to start recording a new loop again. It's going to be a, a longer loop here than this first loop we recorded back here. So it'll be a longer loop and then when it starts playback over here, we're going to do a few interesting things, actually. Um, let's see, I have this uh, little bit of automation here, which is going to control the tape speed on the timeline's detape echo effect. So it's going to pitch shift the pitch of the, of the delay repeats up and down. It's going to do some interesting little things there. You'll hear that in a moment. And uh, let's see. And then uh, this last clip, when the loop's still looping, it's going to start increasing the feedback and it's going to get really intense and then it's going to pull off right at the end and also in this clip uh, let's see there's going to be some uh, reverse reverse looping happening or the loop is going to play back in reverse so that's going to happen in this clip and then the drums are going to cut out and that's pretty much it so uh, let's test it out and see if uh, see if this actually works Okay, that worked out better than expected um, first try. Um, pretty easy, a lot of fun. You can um, explore some amazing creative potential by controlling your effects from Ableton. So you don't have to focus on uh, pressing buttons and rocking expression pedals back and forth. You can automate very, very complicated and uh, interesting effects changes. And all you have to do is play pretty much. So um, really cool. Uh, people are going to do some really interesting stuff when this when people start untapping this potential. So um, that's it, Ableton Live um, and Stream on Timeline. Um, check them out and have fun with it.